In order to appropriately monitor your drivers, it's important to establish a baseline so that you're able to get the information you need. There's a number of aspects that you know, it's very important to driver monitoring. So you got this frequency. By the way, you should also have a baseline. If you just start monitoring drivers today, you don't look back at the history, you don't know what you're dealing with. So you have to have a baseline to see where they started from, do this continuous monitoring, and you've got to leverage the motor vehicle corrector as the ultimate source of truth you know, for any violation that may come up. So I, I, I think to, to look at the question of who should be monitored and, and what should be monitored you know, is, is certainly an issue and it's very obvious to us. We think everyone who's going to be behind the wheel of a car, and we call it a workforce now, we don't just call it a driver. You, you know, it's almost like a pyramid. At the very top of the pyramid you have commercial drivers, we've got federal rules and regulations, and it's very clear what you have to do for them. As you start moving down the pyramid, you've got delivery people and pharmaceutical sales reps and you've got you know, other people driving smaller cars and vans. And at the very base of the pyramid, you have everyone else, the occasional driver, driving my own car, uh, driving a shared vehicle. Our idea is you need to monitor everybody. Uh, we have several customers who monitor every employee or even independent contractor as if they work for them because that liability ensues to any person in the workforce. So we start to think about the term workforce uh, monitoring, not just driver monitoring, because almost everybody drives at some point on behalf of their employer.